Welcome to another edition of Game Music Appreciation Theater. And on this edition, it's Nightmare on Elm Street, brought to us by LJN and Rare. Now, LJN is notorious for making bad licensed games on the NES, including Karate Kid, Jaws, and one of my least favorite games of all time, Back to the Future Part 2 and 3. However, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, two horror games that they've made, I actually consider good games. Nightmare on Elm Street does have its problems, but it's a decent platformer in the end with a good soundtrack. A little weird at times, and some of the best parts of the music don't kick in till late in the song, but it's definitely worth listening to. Now let's listen to my five favorite songs from Nightmare on Elm Street, and we're going to start with the song you hear, In the Cemetery. Next up in our look at the soundtrack in Nightmare on Elm Street is the song you hear in house number three. Our next selection from the soundtrack of Nightmare on Elm Street is the song you hear on the main map of the game.
Next up in our look at the soundtrack of Nightmare on Elm Street is the song you hear in house number one. Our final selection from the soundtrack of Nightmare on Elm Street is the song you hear in house number two. Nightmare on Elm Street by LJN on the NES is an okay game. It's not the greatest by far, and may not be what you expect from a Nightmare on Elm Street licensed game. It's a little kiddish at times, but it ends up being a pretty decent platformer with a pretty decent soundtrack. And you have to give it credit for being one of the few games on the NES to support a four-player mode. Now, I'd like to thank you for watching this Game Music Appreciation Theater for Nightmare on Elm Street on the NES, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.